Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of, um, I'm seeing a, a relationship here. Um, something is becoming more defined with this Four of Wands energy. Um, this is also, you know, moving to that next level. Um, there is a sense of a union being celebrated here. This is, you know, I'm seeing positive energy around a union here, stability being achieved. Something is becoming more um, solidified or more recognized here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Aries. Okay, so the first card we have is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Next, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy again. And finally, we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. Okay, so I do see here, it's like, uh, it's that final push. You know, there's a sense of this is something you guys have been working on, hoping for, for a long time. Um, there is a sense of you guys having had to overcome struggles burdens difficulties it hasn't been an easy journey with that nine of wands but you guys haven't given up there is the sense of you guys have planted seeds here and you know you're you're manifesting them you're waiting for them to come to fruition there is a slow progress that has been being made and there is this potential here it's like this is that light at the end of the tunnel this ace of pentacles is that you know that fulfillment that that um that's solidifying, you know, it's like you guys are very close to achieving this. And um, I do see this as a connection that has been nurtured for a long time. Um, things haven't been moving quickly. There has even been some obstacles, blockages, you know, with that nine of wands, but you guys never gave up. And it's like, finally, it's like, it's becoming realized, you know, this, the, 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 the seeds of coming to fruition is what I'm seeing. And it's been nurtured. And this connection is moving to that next level with that four of wands. That wish that you guys have been hoping for, what you guys have been working towards, you're achieving here. And it's coming in the form of a, a solid or solidified relationship, defined relationship. Um, this could be whatever that next step is for you guys. It could be marriage. It could be moving in together. It could even just be becoming an exclusive defined relationship. There's that, that whatever that goal is that you guys have been working towards it's tirelessly or you know it's it's really coming to fruition and um i do see it it's also changing you within there's a lot of strength that has been earned as a result of this so let's clarify these cards aries at the bottom of the deck we have the two of pentacles and this is earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy so this is an energy of finding that balance finding that stability having to make time for each other um i do see this as you guys having it all there's a sense of you guys achieving something here that is you know sprinkling to other areas as well you guys could be doing well for your own personal goals your achievements your career success but also having love as well there is just a sense of you guys achieving harmony balance stability so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this aries Okay, so the first card we have is the Hermit, and this is Virgo energy, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Next, we have the Ten of Cups, water energy. 
And finally, we have the Two of Cups, Water Energy again. So this is definitely a situation that has led to a lot of growth, personal growth. Because I do see you guys have really, it's almost like seeing how how many obstacles you guys could really overcome. It's like you're seeing your own strength here and you're, you're, you're succeeding, um, you know, but it's also doing a number on you. This is a love that has changed you as well within. Um, I do see a lot of growth, spiritual growth, um, personal growth as well. And with the Ten of Cups, you guys are achieving, um, you know, that, that emotional fulfillment. You're connecting with your person here with the Two of Cups. This is somebody who, you know, is very emotionally compatible. This is somebody where you guys do feel that strong soul connection and again we're seeing that happily ever after energy a wish fulfillment in this love connection you guys are going to have it all you guys are able to have what you want what you've been desiring what you've been very patient with as well is finally coming to fruition okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you aries So the card says a time for healing, balsamic moon. Okay, so I do see this as a connection that is having, you know, a personal impact. It's like it's it's there's a growth that's happening within. It's got a healing influence with that hermit energy. Um, it's like it's really something that it's the type of connection that is trickling into all aspects of life. It's like it's it's affecting you that deeply. Um, I do see. It's also showing you what you're made of, what you can take, because I do see with the nine of wands, it's like. It, it really hasn't been easy, but it's like you guys are succeeding. You guys are overcoming any difficulties and obstacles. It's even teaching you patience or it has taught you patience. And you're finally getting something that you really, really want. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. So the card says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so this is definitely a sense that you guys have been wanting this for a long time. You've been very patient. You've been giving it your all. You didn't give up on this with the Nine of Wands. It's like you haven't given up and, you know, you're finally getting this. It was worth the wait. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Aries. So the card says intelligence and mental beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past, but beauty is the promise of the future. Okay, so there's definitely a sense of you guys may have had this feeling that this is something that is it's 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 worth not giving up on. And I do see you guys won't regret not giving up on this. This is definitely a, you know, there's this promise of the future. There's this, you know, this is definitely something that I'm seeing long term energy with the Ten of Cups, is that emotional fulfillment, being with someone who you can actually settle down with, have that family with, have that happily ever after. You know, there is just this sense of ascending in love, you know, moving to that next level with your your person okay so that's what i'm seeing for you aries i hope you have a really really good day aries bye aries